Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Neo. Alright, before we move on to the next mission, I did update my equipment to where I'm wearing different boots. So my equipment loadout is still pretty good. It's in the green. But at least my boots have a higher defense multiplier. Plus I get extra running speed too. I think this would be a good time to actually uh, switch up my... Uh, my long range weapons. I think I'm gonna switch to this longbow. Actually, I should switch to this one. Has extra bullseye bonus? Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Hand cannons are pretty powerful. However, they're also pretty heavy. So I think I'm just gonna stick with matchlocks for now. There we go. Also, I think I'm going to have to switch up, um... I'm going to switch up this to have the Kodama Sense one again. Because, let's face it, I am going to need Kodama Sense. Whenever I'm starting a next stage, of course. I was hoping I had something better that actually had that too. But unfortunately, that's not the case at all. Let's Just some last minute stuff to take care of before... <coughs> Damn it, it tickled my throat. Before we go on to a main mission. Now, of course, this is a new session. So, as you can see, we can actually uh, do a Twilight mission that's level 20. But... Let's not. At least not yet. The head of the Tachibana family, Lord Munishige, has been missing ever since he left to battle monsters. If we can aid him, it would be a boon for our campaign. Okatsu has already arranged a meeting with his wife, the Lady Genshio. William, let us leave for Tachibana Castle at once. Alright. God, those are some names I haven't heard in a while, ever since Pokemon Conquest. The Zaifu Tenmagu Shrine was originally erected to placate an enraged spirit hell-bent on revenge. But that was long ago, and now its halls have been invaded by lawless rogues and ferocious yokai. Rumors abound of a particularly unsettling cry emanating from the vicinity at night. It's always the rumors. I want to keep an eye on Bunny Girl. Alright, so we're on to a new place. It's going to be a bit hard to see because of all the rain and the clouds. I'm going to have to start investing some of these uh, samurai points. Uh, let's see. Kodama Blessing. Still going to keep the one that I have. Because a 15% elixir drop rate will be very helpful. Even though the Amrita acquisition rate going up by 20% ain't bad either. It's levels that I'm not too concerned about. Don't really have a lot for, like, say, high stance, so I might want to start getting some new things for it. Got plenty of things for mid stance. Actually, I think it's low stance that I have the least amount of. Actually, let's see if I can get some more axe skills. Probably have to give up Mad Spinner. Or at least uh, temporarily replace it if I go with Rumbling Earth. I 
I want to focus on anything that gets me passives. Like any good passives at least. If anything, if I get this, and then I work my way around to getting this, and then I can get this. That'd be good. Maybe I should go to the Kusari Gama tree. Or better yet. Let's start going into spear. So I might start like transitioning to possible spear use. Or even dual sword. I think it flux. Hold L1 and press square. Yeah, let me get that one. Plus 10 key recovery speed when guarding. That's going to be really good. There. So I'm just like throwing points all over the place for things that might be relatively useful. Yeah, let me just give you a drink of water. Oh, I see somebody. Now he sees me. Well, you weren't long for this world, I'll tell you that much. Took a dumb hit, but that's because I parried at the wrong time. Also, there's a Yoki over there. Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. That's why. I'm oh, trying to put this new bow to good use. Ooh, I got a lightning user. I don't know why, but lately my parrying timing has been worse. Zero seal, level 32. How about no? That's a hard no if there ever was one. Even though my level is in the high 20s, let's not take any uh, senseless deaths. At least, no more so than usual. Danish 11191? You're a level 9. Could've fooled me! Oh jeez. My hubris got the best of me there. Why did I get stunned there? I was pressing attack. And that was while I still had some key. Hope I'm not losing my touch. I've only been away from this game for like two days. It's nowhere near enough time to suddenly get rusty. That one's level 35. <laughs> Ooh. Yokai realm over here. Okay, I gotta be careful because like, somebody's like chucking bombs. But luckily, because I was out of range, I didn't have to worry about it. Throwing the bombs anyway. 
Oh, it's this guy. Wow. He took three arrows to finally die. What the hell, man? Oh! Okay, there we go. Well, they're trying to sneak up on me. Burned to death? Damn. Must have been the bombs. Wait a minute. This guy's level 47 and he got beat by a dweller? Okay, that should help us out if we need a shortcut. me nice got grapple novice good to know that like a sneak attack is considered a grapple Wait, wasn't there like a Kadama nearby I know I saw that yeah it's up in this tree I'll get it right now Here you go, little buddy. Do the thing. Okay. I think I can just come back down here safely. Whoa! Apparently dwellers have gills. Spot. Let me get this guy. Ah! Damn. That's better. I can go across this part of the water safely. I'm also very glad that there's like no random holes where if you fall in you're gonna drown and die. Reminds me of Shadowgate 64 in that sense. Think if you go too far in the first tunnel, like breaking out of jail, that you'll end up drowning. And the Shadowgate series, even though it wasn't very many games, in fact there was only two that I could think of. That you could just die in so many ways. Oh, wait a minute, I think I know where I need to go. I think it's beyond here. Oh! That's a ninja! Two of them, actually! Anzo, you need better friends. <laughs> wow. Was not expecting ninjas. And I practiced this level like a month or so ago. But for some reason, I never remembered the ninjas. I got two Agio points. All right, let's put that towards Anio, and I'm gonna say Yokai Realm. There we go. Next time I get that, I'm gonna put it towards Life. Oh, hang on. Ah. When 
you die as a ninja, you failed your job if you didn't see it coming. What a terrible way to go if you're a ninja, am I right? Oh, there you are. Go home, buddy. Alright, so far so good. I mean, I've had to use a few elixirs, but that's just game. And even Takakage is a name I remember too. Whoa! I couldn't even see the guy because he was like crawling. But Takakage was a guy I used a lot in Pokemon Conquest, even though he was not like a top general. Because I believe he had what? I let him use the Sceptile. Like that kind of class. He was pretty good for that Let's Play. <laughs> There's a Kadama here, and you're here too. I believe that Let's Play was very well received, seeing as how it was my first official foray into tactical games. And I actually did a lot better with that than I thought. It was a little too long, though. That much I will say. Strikes definitely can apply his status ailments easily. So weapons are usually in low stance. Or at least dual swords, Kusari Gama, weapons like that. Tend to be perfect if you have elements attached to them. Yoki over here, but he's trying to be sneaky. Oh, well, he's the one with the sword, too. Oh, maybe I should probably lock onto him. Oh wow, I killed him already. I thought he was gonna withstand another couple of hits. I guess not. It's just a chump. Okay, looks like where I need to go is over here. Oh, there's like two Yoki over here. Let me get the jump on at least one of them. He's kind of trapped. Does he not, does he not notice me? What the hell? Huh? Let me guess. It's because he can't climb, is it? So I was able to get like uh, several cheap shots on this. Uh... I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong button. I meant R1, not L1. I ended up using a spirit stone by accident. But now I pretty much have to fight them because I have no more ranged ammo. Wait a minute, somebody sees me. Is it someone that can climb? think so. Oh, it's this guy. He's just on the other side of the fence. And somehow he found his way around. Or 
a guy that's essentially like a zombie, he, he definitely knows his way around this place. Alright buddy, you wanna fight? Done. Okay, looks like where I need to go is over that way. But I might want to, like, clear this place out first. Like, for instance, there was a gate near the shrine. And I have to open it from the other side. So let's make sure we do that first. You know, just in case I kick the bucket. And I know I'm gonna kick the bucket here with his uh, upcoming session. Oh, maybe to the other side of the bridge to get all those collectibles over there for a long time. Oh, uh, there's some other demon here. That's a, uh, one eye. is it an imp? I think that's an imp. The imps are a pain in the ass, because if you leave them alone for too long, they actually transform into Oni. So if you see one, make sure you kill it right away. Otherwise, that little small thing is going to become that big thing over there. Bomber I saw much earlier. This is good. Oh, I see another imp. I don't know if that's their exact names. I might have to check that out. Yoki over here. Eh, let's not have to fight him yet. <laughs> there. Now we created a shortcut from back where we started. And with that, we can level up. Let me put another point in spirit. I was thinking skill for the sake of my uh, armor sets. Oh, so now, be thanks to my skill level, I have like every uh, bonus from a uh, Fuzayushi. I'm gonna need 13 to get all of it from Mizuchi, though. I remember all these creatures come back. So I'm gonna take my time with this one. Huh. Start stuttering there for some reason. Give me an easier time moving around. God, this music is so creepy, but I like it. Is there anything up on that building? Hold on. It looks like there is a uh, Kodama nearby. I 
think later on you do get a bestiary. Good. He only has one eye, so his peripheral vision is garbage. Oh, he... Oh, yeah, I forgot. They definitely like to get away from you. Because, you know, their, their best uh, potential is in their ability to transform. So you know they're just going to play keep away. They definitely don't fall off. That's a disaster waiting to happen. I'm not gonna get jumped, am I? Yeah! Oh, that guy definitely landed on his head. He's not dead. The ninja did not die. Look at him go! <laughs> he wants some of this! I can't say I didn't warn him. In fact, I didn't say much of anything. I let him pay the price for himself. You know, personal accountability. I should be able to get on that. Oops! That's probably not crucial to my mission anyway. The box over there might. If I can get safely. Oh. My. <laughs> Good thing I just caught that ninja on the corner of my eye. East Gate Key. Well, I guess I had to go here first. To get that key. Alright, that must be where what the gate opens. Oh, yeah. Definitely watch out here. Because... You gotta fight the new way. And let me tell you, the new way is a bitch. Because it likes to like shoot like bolts of lightning. And that attack is very hard to dodge. Like it just shoots a laser of lightning. And if you're unlucky, it can paralyze. And it can poison! <laughs> ah, damn! Like, that one jolt really hurts. But believe it or not, you see these shelters over here? The new way can't even hit you with the bolts of lightning with them. Unfortunately, I can't really do much. Unless I'm just throwing kunais. And I'm eventually gonna run out of them. Look at him, he's powerless. Oh, he's tired. As long as I just pick my spots, I'm good. Now why he just keeps using that attack constantly, I have no idea. That Tail Whip definitely hurts like a bitch though. If you want to do some out extra damage, hit him in the chest. Cause that's his weak spot.
Oh my god. Oh, I thought I had a spam tactic. Probably the one disadvantage that he might do that instead. And I take like tons of lightning damage. Oh, oh, whoa. Careful. I'm actually doing really well here. Especially since I have this bitch tactic. Now I just hope I don't lose that spot. <laughs> Sometimes he'll do like two lightning attacks like really close to himself. And that that first one gets you, the second one just might too. Not even when you're blocking that hurts. beat the new way on the first try and I got a new ways claw thank you sweet merciful shelter oh my god and I used up all my medicine too when I first bought the new way it took me well over a dozen tries hi Oh my god, my heart is just racing. Well, Fuku, you too. あなたの世の異国の方が私の指揮を。ああ、申し訳ありました。この地を守護する一階の御命にございます。以後、お見知りおきを。その綾かしは先ほどあなた様が打ち倒した私の指揮。何が起こっているようですが、あなた様自ら
I don't know if I'll get all the Kadamas on the first try, but I'll definitely do my best. Apparently, I gotta move something. Oh. I think that just puts the lift back up if it was already down. Oh, I definitely feel safe here. I mean, safer here than I was with the new way. I'm not going to be able to go over the fact that I beat this guy without dying. You know, let's go with ninjutsu. The kunais were helpful. And I definitely like to make sure that they're even more helpful moving on. Oh, my elixir drop rate is now up to 20%. Ooh, Oracle Blessing's at max. So is the Hunter Blessing. All right, I think it's a good time to stop here. And in the next episode, we shall uh, continue on through this, uh, what looks like a set of ruins. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.